Hey guys, it is Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you a lesson in all about reading or a part of the lesson. I'm basically just going to show you what we do with it. Um, we don't really do a lesson a day because I just find that they're too much for Jack. But you yeah. like your new reading program. Hey? He's wearing those glasses. He doesn't need those glasses. The glasses are um, used to be my husband's when he was like <laughs> Jack's age. So he found them the other day and he's been playing with them. Um, but today we're just doing, okay, so I'll show you. I've got all of the lessons. Hang on just a second. So I took out all of the workbook activities and put them in this binder and I just photocopy them so that I can reuse them for my next kids. Um, so I just took out the one we need today and we are up to lesson seven and we're doing the second half of lesson seven. So yesterday we read a story in his reader here and did a fluency sheet in an activity. Okay, sit down, honey. A fluency sheet in an activity and today we're gonna to be doing another fluency sheet. We're gonna be doing another fluency sheet and another story today. So I'm waiting on our, I'm waiting on our box to arrive. It's on back order, so. I've just got like a plastic container, but we're also gonna go over some words just to review them. <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> it's a top. Okay, all right. Let's get, are you ready? Yep. It's okay, no. Jack, this is like normal. If you know the word without having to sound I up. I know, I know, I know. You know? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? You have to stand up the word if you don't know. Yes. Yeah, but just right. say it straight away if you know. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Go for it. Run. Close. Remember, ah is look here. Ah is when it's on its own. Ah. So it's an ah. Ah. Like ah ah apple. Remember that. Ah ah apple. Yeah. Okay. Have a look here and we'll sound it out again. Ah. Ram. 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 Yeah. Ram. Do you remember what a ram is? The mouse sheep? Yes. Good job. Let's not play with those way down. Okay, this one. Remember to take your time to figure out what that is. Uh, de. Head. Good boy. Five. Uh, uh, g. Uh, rag. Good boy. At. Uh, hat. Uh, at. Right. Okay, try that. It's an ah sound, remember? Uh, ah. Uh, Right. Mm at mat. Yep, as in sit on the mat. Yep. Sit on the mat. This one? S at set. Do you remember what this is when it's on its own? No. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, yeah. So. Apple. Do you remember what that sound like? Yeah. 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 Uh, No, we did. Uh, no, there's another one that says yam. It's a similar word, but it's two different things. This one? Jam. That story about that jam. Yeah, we read that yesterday, hey? Mm -hmm. Nap. Good job. You were really close. Come on. <laughs> Have a look at the words, see how many you can remember. <laughs> wow. How many can you remember? Yeah. Uh, Reading glasses. What does that one say when it's on its own? Ah. Uh, uh, yes, thank you. Ah, uh, cool. Ah, cool's not even a word. This one? S at set. These glasses help me read weird really okay. fast. Keep going. Mm. Uh, mm. Met. Yeah. Ah. Uh, not not uh, ah. Not ah. 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 Rat. Ran. Try to read it again. Rat. Egg, rag, egg, head. Good job. Had a little sheep. This one. Had a little mom. Had everything that we need. Can I do this one now, please? Ram. This one. Mm. Ap. Good job. J. Uh, mm, Jen. Yeah, you're good. You're getting better at those. Good job. 
Okie dokie. So now we're going to do your fluency sheet. We're past Sunday. Are we? Yes. Yes? We're yes. Sunday. I said yes. Okay. So now we are going to do the fluency sheet. So it looks like this. And then there's some prompts where it talks about vocabulary and just like teaching the kids what the pictures are. Um, or your child with pictures are. So we're going to go ahead and do this. This is just a short one. And these are like all words that he's... The ones up here have been taught in the previous lesson. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and then like they go over phrases down here. This was yesterday's one that we did. Okie dokie. Let's have a look. Are you ready? Yeah, there's not that much of words. No, today. there's not that many. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, have a look here. What does uh, that say when it's uh, on its own? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, head. Yeah, that's very good, but don't make double sounds. Just do one, okay? Okay. Good boy. Good job. Keep going. Uh, good boy. Does it start with a bat or a donut? Donut. Does it? Look here. Mm. Yeah, I know the neighbor's mowing his own. Look there. Does it have a donut or a bat at the front? Mm. Huh? Have a look. Donut or a bat? Oh. Bat. Yeah, bat. so it makes a b sound. It's a b. 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 Okay, look here. B. A. T. Bat. Good boy. This one? Yeah. I said yeah. 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 Uh. You did all those ones, so now you're just going to read the phrases down here, okay? Uh, the head are at head. Good reading. The ye ek. Yak. So sound it up to get the yak. Ag uh, head. Good boy. The her. Uh, mm. Okay, try that again, but with an ah sound. Remember when it's... Uh, so, the, the... Look at the word, not mama. The... Uh, uh, mm. Good job. Uh, the head. Good boy. The... Uh, and here. Uh, what does it have? A donut or a bag? Head. Good boy, you did it. That was pretty quick. All right, so now let's have a look here. Okay, remember a uh, ram mm. is an adult male yep. sheep. Okay, okay, let's not scoot on that because that's too noisy, okay? Scoot it over here. All right, come and have a look. There's some more other things. There's some other things here. This, come here. This, yeah, but do you know what it's called? It's got a special name. Sun hat. A sombrero. Mm. Sombreros are often worn in Mexico and the southern United States. Mm. Okay, we'll have to look at that on a map because mommy didn't grab a map. All right, and then this one, have a look here. This is a jester hat. Jester hats were worn by court jesters, the people that kings and queens used to hire to tell jokes and perform silly acts. What other types of hats can you think of? What other types of hats are there? That, what, that, what kind of hats have you worn before? Mm, a cap. A cap, yeah. A Martin and Fitch one. My yeah. dad's one. Yeah. And... What about if you get cold? What do you wear on your head? Hoodie? Yeah, hoodie's kind of like a hat. What's another yes. kind of hat? What's one that you wear on the farm when you go with Papa? And it's really cold. Beanie? Yeah, beanie. That's a kind of hat, <laughs> huh? Yeah, there's quite a few. Alright, have you ever had a really strange dream? You've never had any strange dreams? Mm, I did have a strange dream that 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 I was playing with the neighbor's dog and he came down and he backed all over and then it gave me a fright. Really? That was a strange dream. The girl in the next story has an odd dream about she hats. Was a let's dead. see how it ends. Yes. Okay, let's find Are out. Are you reading it? Or no, me? you're reading it. It's just like the one you did yesterday. Okay. Shot. 
So like the lessons are really scripted, which I love. And then you can kind of just go with the flow. Um, so they've got questions like, well, Jack's going to read this story in his reader here. Um, and then there are like questions that they prompt you to prompt you to ask as he's reading it. Okay, buddy? Do you want to start by reading the title? The Try. Uh, yeah. Here, let's see I if you can. I had a strange dream that dad, that dad turned to Rover and he barked at me. Uh-huh. Okay, put your finger. Can you please put your finger on the page that you, you can. You me if I can uh, ask you to... Okay. Put your finger on the page. I look up crying and I'm going to use that. Okay, you can use that. The. Mm, uh, Man had uh, had a hat. Good reading. The man had a hat. See, there he is. No, that's funny. I know, but just leave it around that way because it's less distracting that way. The a a a a. Okay, hold on just one second. You're doing really good. I just want you to do this one again and say the whole word once you've finished it. Okay. Sorry, no, there you go. The. R. R. A. M. M. The Ram. Ram. Yeah, you need to say the word once you've sounded it out. There you go. Uh, d. I'm going to go, okay? What was that word? Uh, d. Head. Head. Say it all together. Head. A. Uh, at. Hat. Good reading, Jack. Um, so the man had a hat and the ram had a hat. Let's funny. Look at their funny dreams. Okay, next one. I'm going to do it, okay? Okay, go. The. Yak. Head. A. Uh, hat. Job. The yucca the hat. Yeah. The bat had a hat. Good reading. Bat had a hat. The, the cat had a hat. Yeah, make sure you're reading it though. Don't just guess at it. Keep going. The mouse had No, a see, now you're guessing. The mm, r, 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 a had a hat. A rat had a hat. A rat had a hat. How do you think this dream will end? I think she had a hat. She'll have a hat, you reckon? <laughs> okay, what do you think will have a hat? So you think she'll have a hat next? <laughs> you read it, take your time. No, read the, the words. Game. No, the at hat and head ah. Very good. So what had a hat? The hat had a hat. The hat had a hat. And what does that page say? The end. All right. No, Are you surprised at how the story ended? Yeah. You want to show that? Is it funny? <laughs> yeah. You surprised at how the story ended? Was it what you were expecting? Yeah. Was it? You were expecting the hat to have a hat? Yeah. That's funny, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's your reading lesson done for today. So we'll move on to math. But let's finish just to say goodbye to our friends. Bye-bye. Here. Bye. Okay. Why can't we show them math too? Well, we will another day. We've done a math lesson before as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Um, obviously, this is just a half lesson. What would have happened if we did the whole lesson is that he would have done two stories today. But personally, he's a very young reader. How old are you? Five, yeah. <laughs> and he turned five just like a few months back. So he's a young five-year-old. Um, so I'm not really interested in rushing him. And then there is, hold on, we'll do the one thing that Jack loves to do the most. Yay! What are Sticker! we going to do? Sticker! Because you finished the lesson. Two days to go. What are those girls doing? They're banging in the room. The girls are playing. Next door. So I photocopied a progress chart for him so that I could use this again for my girls. And the pack came with stickers. When we use this up, for my next kid, I'll just buy some stickers. And so he gets to put a sticker on here every time he finishes a lesson. It, do you want to go do that? Does it, does it say if, if the dog had something to say to us? 
Oh, I'll check in just a second. Sometimes mm. the space dog in the book has a little message for the reader. Um, Jack loves that, huh? Th that's dad. Is that daddy? <laughs> He's a funny looking starfish. <laughs> or star, I don't even know if it's a fish. Okay, so that wraps up our reading for the day. It's short, it's sweet. Um, like I said, I like to keep things simple and to the point. I don't want to overwhelm him. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Do you want to say goodbye to your friends? Wait. Bye bye. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> Drink. More of your smile. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will.